Oh hi, this is Sam Bateman, or ARC the Clarinet Master, and quick disclaimer, the only reason I'm making this video is because for some reason the post feature is disabled on this account. And I know it's a problem with the account because I can create posts on my other channels, and I just did on Sam the Censorship Guy, for example. But anyway, on to my announcements. Okay, so first of all, you may notice that I now have over 300 subscribers. Yay! So to celebrate this honourable event, I'm going to have a 300 subscriber special, where you guys will ask me questions. About what? Well, anything. Anything you want to know about me, or the videos I'm working on, or any topics in particular. At least those that I've covered, I don't know. Well, yeah, feel free to ask me anything, and I might just answer it in the 300 subscriber special. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the deadline is the 16th of January, 11pm, Australian Central Daylight Time. So for the rest of the world, it should be one of these times. And as for where to post the questions, well, you can either do it in the comments of this video, or you can ask me on AskFM with the hashtag 300 subscriber special. And the second thing that I want to bring up is that last month, the 17th of November, marks the first year anniversary of when I recorded my latest reaction video, even though it was later uploaded in January. But anyway, the reason I bring this up is because I'm currently working on another reaction video, which I recorded just last September. But due to a number of factors, such as my personal life getting in the way and me working on other projects, such as grabbing all the VHS tape footage of my late grandmother to put on a DVD for my granddad to watch, and even doing the censored edits for the 2017 Disney Semba for my other channel, Sam the Censorship Guy, which I'm really behind with those, and yeah, due to a number of those factors, I'm the, the reaction video is taking a while, but it, it should be up sometime in January or maybe February. But, the yeah, point is, it's just gonna take a while, so please bear with me during that time. And, lastly, I want to point out the elephant in the room, which is this whole copa or copper situation, where pretty much the whole of YouTube is gonna be screwed over because, because family-friendly videos will not be monetized or anything like that, and if, even if we mark our videos as not family-friendly, if we talk about stuff that they consider to be family-friendly, they'll flag it for not being family-friendly, like, if we talk about cartoons, or video games, or toys, so... Like, Chadtronic, for example, is going to be fucked. Like, he made a whole video about it, and I strongly recommend you watch it, just to get in the know-how of this whole copper copper situation. Because he goes into much more detail than I ever could. Me, personally, I'm just hoping it won't be that big a deal when it actually happens. But if, I actually, if my channel does end up getting removed from YouTube because of this whole fiasco, I might create a channel on, like... Daily Motion or Vimeo or something to upload my videos to. Luckily, I have all my old videos archived, so I might just upload them as well. And I'll try to record the upload dates and stuff like that, just so I can still record those into the description, should this ever happen. And so now that that serious note is out of the way, I'm just gonna end up... I'm just gonna finish by talking about the videos that I'm currently working on. I mean, okay, first of all, I'm also doing the censored edits for my alternate channel, Sam the Censorship Guy. But also, I've, I've stated before that I'm currently working on a commentary on Lawrence Southern's video, What Every Girl Needs to Hear, and... Well, that's kind of an old video, so dang, I'm really behind. But the video's kind of been in development hell for a while, so... And, you know, of course, my personal life keeps getting in the way, and other projects here and there, and... And also the fact that I'm currently at college, studying 3D animation. So, yeah, there's a lot of factors been going into it, but I haven't been able to make videos for a while because of these factors. But, yeah, the Lawrence Southern video should be out sometime in 2020. And I'm also planning to make reviews in the future. The first one is going to be on The Buzz on Maggie, which is a very obscure Disney Channel cartoon about a preteen girl fly and all her ideas to get through life the easy way that end up causing havoc, and, and it was my all-time favourite show as a kid. And I don't care what Mr. Enter says, that show was awesome, although I will still have a few criticisms of the show, don't worry, it's not going to be all 
sunshine and rainbows and butterflies or anything, but but yeah, that should be out sometime next year as well, because I've started recording the script. And I recently started collecting records. Yeah, you can see my record album just in the corner there. And this neat old Music Trend record player, which I was actually currently listening to one of my records as I was recording this, but obviously I can't play it here because, because you know, copyrighted music and that. Especially because I was playing a Beatles record, and you know how strict copyright is when it comes to the Beatles music. And look, I even made my own gramophone which I operate by hand. And don't worry, the stylus is made of plastic, so it's not going to scratch the records, at least at least not as badly as, say, a pin or a needle would. Actually, it turns out that homemade gramophone of mine does scratch the records. Like, not by much at a time, but it probably will make a huge difference the more I play them on there. And I think it has more to do with the size of the stylus rather than you know, the material, like it just carves through the grooves, as you can see from these magnified before and after shots, and ugh, it's pretty hard to look at. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna have to retire this gramophone for good. I'll probably just keep it up in the wardrobe and maybe, you know, for historical reasons, and maybe just chuck it out come next spring cleaning, because it's not like I'll ever need it again. Unless I happen to come across a record I really hate. Anyway, now that that's cleared up, let's get back on with the video. So, the reason I bring this up is because I might make a video about the records sometimes, reviewing them, going over them, maybe talking about the record players themselves. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. Have a happy Christmas, happy New Year, happy Kwanzaa. Yeah, my phone's going off because I gotta ride soon and, and I gotta be out of here soon so I gotta record this real quick. So anyway, yeah, that's about it. So happy Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, happy New Year. More like happy new decade, am I right? <laughs> wow, it's weird that the decade has gone by so quick. Seems like only last week I was excited about entering the, the year 2010, the start of a new decade. and. Now here we've come full circle, it's almost 2020, I'm so excited. I'm actually looking forward to how this new era of pop culture is going to shape us and hopefully there'll be less political drama because we all know it's very heated at the moment with you know who in the White House, but thankfully he's been impeached, so yeah, so happy new decade and... and... <sighs> And here's to a brand new, ah, uh, shit. And here's to a brand new decade, the 2020s, the new 20s. Hundred, hundred years of women being allowed to vote in the US, so girl power, I guess? <laughs> anyway, that tension aside, let's get back to the video. And I don't know, what, whatever else you celebrate this time of year, I don't know, it's, it's not, never really been a big thing here in Australia and we use the term holidays to refer to like the, the school vacation times like spring break summer vacation we call them the holidays in Australia so that whenever Americans say happy holidays I used to think they meant the school holidays but anyway you probably don't care about that so yeah take care guys this is ARC the clarinet master and I'm signing off oh and I forgot to mention my family and I are going on holiday in Kangaroo Island as of the 21st of December, Australian Central Daylight Time. It'll probably only be the 20th if you're in the US, but but yeah, I won't be able to contact you from then until like like until like the end of the month. So but I might have more time to work on the reaction video, seeing how you know any chance I get to use my laptop, seeing how I'm not seeing how the VHS stuff isn't getting in the way because I need both ports to, to do that. But yeah, that's basically about it. This is ARC the Clarinet Master, signing off.